Hello there. In this video, I'll guide you through the event dashboard of webinar events. Let's jump right in. Start by accessing your community dashboard and navigating to my events. Choose the specific event you want by clicking on it. Now, you're inside your event dashboard. The initial page is the summary, offering a concise overview of event information. Access and edit details like sessions, sponsors, speakers, and event settings directly from here. You can also click on edit to update your event details such as event name, time zone, entry settings and more within the summary. Once satisfied, save your changes. Moving to registrations. Under event entry setup, you can edit and choose the type of entry that suits your event. For first and second entry types, you can add attendees via CSV templates. You can also click on add attendees to upload the CSV file from here, depending on the type of event entry chosen. Pre- and post-event entry options are available too. You can also customize registration forms by clicking on the Change Form button and updating it as per the event requirement. Registration embed form can be accessed in case of the first type of event entry. Lastly, you can add event tickets from this section by clicking on the Add Ticket button and you can also add coupons for the tickets. In the People section, explore attendee registration summaries, add attendees, view failed CSV downloads, download registrants list, manage extra registrations, and more. Go to the Speakers section to add speakers, view speaker list or to update their profile details. Hosts, all the session hosts can be found in this section. Attendee interests, or the interests that can be added to the profile section, can be modified or new interests can also be added by the event organizer prior the event starts. Sessions. Under the session list, you can edit the session's details or add new ones. Session recordings can be accessed from here. Pre-recorded videos. The uploaded videos can be found here. You can also upload one either from your computer or from the video library. Coming on to the session settings. Clicking on live stream will allow you to add the session stream destination. Stream into Airmate can be used if you want to stream third-party sessions in Airmate. Click on view stream keys to find the stream server URL and stream key. Next is stream resolution. If you want your videos to be in full HD, then toggle this button on. Lastly, we have advanced settings, clicking on which will lead you inside the event. Now you can set up your event settings such as showing or hiding polls, Q and as, emojis, and so on. Coming onto the event spaces, it allows you to enable or disable the social lounge, add or upload the resources such as images, PDFs, etc. Event spaces settings allows you to enable and set up the leaderboard setting, and it also contains the advanced settings to hide or show event attendees and chat and to rename top navigations from the event page. The Branding tab provides you various branding options such as event logo, lounge banner, landing page customization, stage backdrop and sponsors. Email tab allows you to edit or update the default emails and also to draft a new email as per your choice. Integrations tab contains all the integrations that you have enabled at the community level. You can also create automated workflows to get notified when certain event attendees do high-value action. And lastly, the analytics part contains all the session analytics in a real time which would be imperative to understand your attendees or to formulate the marketing plans. That concludes our walkthrough. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.